Chris, it leaves a sick feeling in the stomach, doesn't it, losing a game like this? Yeah, it does. Um, we have to take responsibility and not hide from that fact that we don't accept, you know, don't accept it. Um, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't good enough. This side, we're always going to ask: Was it tactics? Was it the boys not competing? What's the? Can you put your finger on the reason why something like this happens? Well, you watch the same game. Uh, you see the detail of the goals. You see how the, the game was played out. So it's there for everybody to see. Um, but we we represent things. Well, we didn't today, so we have to accept the fact that we've not done it today. That is the hard part to accept, isn't it? Because these boys are the foundation is on on competing and, and doing that for you. I think that's for every team. I don't think that's just for Carlisle. I think that's for all teams in all leagues at, at every level. Um, but today we just have to accept the fact that it, you know we have to apologise uh, because we're better than that. We've got 500 plus people here to watch us play. We have to take responsibility for that. We have to accept criticism, and nobody likes criticism. Uh, nobody does, um, but you have to accept that too. Because if you want to steer away from that in professional football, professional football doesn't really change too much other than the fact that your industry is all about winning football matches, and uh, we've not done that today. And to be honest with you, um, we just accept responsibility. We do. I think you spoke to the press for about half an hour on Thursday. Most of that was about the need to start properly. What's going through your mind when three minutes in and there's a goal conceded? Um, well, I'll be sharing that with the players tomorrow. Um, I've already shared it with them today. But of course, it, it, it's no good me telling you we could have got the ball in the box three or four times before they even attack. We're playing in their half before they score. It's irrelevant because it's not been good enough. Is there a confidence issue at the minute with the lads? Is there something just holding them back a little bit from where they we know they can be? Uh, maybe, uh, but I, I do know that... Uh, we are capable of winning games. Uh, we've shown uh, good things in the first four or five games. Uh, we've been uh, uh, good in response to slow starts, but ultimately, uh, and I know the reasons. Um, yeah, it's not uh, it's not representing everybody's hard work and commitment to trying to to achieve something on a Saturday. So. We just accept it. And again, with with the team selection, you've gone for that that mix that you hope will bring the spark. Yeah, um, and you're also fighting to change uh, things within that to make a spark. And uh, I think you um, or your, your, your press uh, or the delegates talked about it in terms of like, you know, it can't, you can't keep searching in that position because one day it ain't going to be your day. Uh, and today was that day. So uh, we want to start, of course we do better. We want to... Uh, play very well in the middle of it and we want to finish the game strong and we've not done that today. You've made it clear that what happens in the dressing room stays there but what sort of reaction just give us a hint from the boys to, to what's happened today? It's, it's just uh, unacceptable. We accept the responsibility. We apologise and uh, I apologise uh, because it doesn't represent our hard work and we move on tomorrow um, to get ready to play a very good team next Saturday with obviously a, a cup match on the Tuesday evening. There's a belief in there that it's in them. Of course there is, um, but we have to accept where we are. We have to look ourselves in the mirror and understand that it's not good enough and, and address it from that point. Otherwise, um, you've got one arm in the water and you're going around in a circle. So you've got to make sure you, you stop that and you've got to make sure you understand how you can help yourself, each other, and respond to what is something that I've not seen um, well, I've not, I've, I've not been involved in that really. And that's what you'll be demanding, is that response from that dressing room? Yeah, it's demanded. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not a demand, it's, it's just that is what it should be. I've got to ask about the red card. We didn't think the second yellow was, he wasn't looking at the man, he's gone up for a header. Without getting yourself in trouble, what was your feelings on, on that second booking for Manny? Um, well, the rules, second booking, you, can you, you can't appeal, can you? So it's, it's, a bit, it's a big, I wish you'd give him a red card and we can appeal it so he can get off it. So even that's at the wrong end of where it needs to be. What you've just said, said in your, uh, in your uh, question is the answer to it. He did. He kept his eyes on the ball. John Mellish has got uh, cuts in his head from being constantly elbowed when your head is in the midfield area. That means your arm's above your head and elbowing your opponent in the head. 
We didn't do that and we're punished. Best thing to say to